News continues here on RT. Activists from the so-called February the 14th movement who were sentenced by a Bahraini court on Sunday have accused the government of beating, waterboarding and electrocuting them. But the authorities say they're all part of an illegal opposition group linked to terrorists. 20 of the 50 people put behind bars were tried in absentia while those present planned to appeal. Well, for more on the latest trial, I'm joined by rights activist Saeed Ahmed Alwadeh, who is part of the February the 14th movement. And uh, I understand you were there on that day taking part as a protester. Tell us exactly what your experience was. What happened? Uh, hi, thank you for inviting me. Uh, on 14th of February, the revolution in Bahrain has started. Uh, the people were unexpecting enormous force by the police guards where they were starting to shoot protesters by gunshot, by tear gas, by various things. And this result to two people were killed on that day. And then the anger among the protesters was enormous. I mean, as they basically, the, the, the movement started with calling for some reforms. But since the regime has met up those with, uh, with, extreme force then it lead up that people most of them has called for the uh, overthrow of the regime so basically the people from that moment from the from the past two years until now they have not stopped stop protesting for a single day this is the scene in bahrain people are protesting everywhere in every single village where they will meet up by uh, by a, an attack by the police a collective punishment, tear gas in the whole village, bear gut, kids being attacked, uh, being jailed, being tortured. So this is where we have a record so of So you tell like, us about the, the, this, 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 these, these allegations of torture then by those who have been confined as a result of being caught up in that uh, February the 14th movement day. Now you were previously imprisoned and you say also I understand that you were tortured. I mean, what do you mean? What are these allegations of torture? What happened to you and what could have been happening to these people then? The moment, the moment when I was arrested, like for, the, for two days, I was not able to call my family. Uh, I have to start up a hunger strike in order only to, tell, to let them know that the only thing I want is to make a phone call to my family to tell them that I am arrested. I wasn't allowed to do that. So I started a hunger strike for two days. And then I was, I, they have to transfer me to the hospital where there I was thrown to the wheelchair. I was uh, basically uh, were you, so were you, were you, I was were you tortured insulted. then? What, what, uh, because there were allegations of I was tortured. Electrocuted. I was tortured in... Yeah, tell us what happened. I was tortured inside the hospital. By, by, by the moment I enter the hospital, this is, how, this is the kind of a treatment. It's enough that... I mean, I, I wouldn't talk about how badly physically we were tortured and the, the screams of the others. Uh, everyone in the other cell, you hear their screams. The moment they enter your, your prison world, you will see clear marks all over their face, all over their body. But, but your I movement, we, the February the 14th the, movement, uh, there are suspicions you're linked to terrorists. So the authorities, are they not entitled to meter out harsh treatment? This is this is the only accusation we got because, I, to be honest, I haven't seen any movement in the whole Arab Spring that was extremely peaceful, such as the Bahraini. I mean, all the marches were extremely, extremely peaceful. The, the people, the only thing they have, their demands, and 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 in some occasions they were handling the police guards with ro with with the flowers. This kind of movement, this is how it started. All right, just briefly, like, Saeed, will the movement the, continue? Down. Will the protest continue as a result of this? Just briefly, will the protest continue in Bahrain? Uh, basically, it have not stopped for a single day. This kind of actions, I mean, they have banned the protest in Manama, but since then, people does not respect this kind of laws. People are continuing and insisting that they have to meet up their, their demands. This dictatorship cannot lead, lead us anymore. Okay. Uh, the torture, the only thing they, could, they, they thought could, be, could, be, could work is the torture. Okay, so we'll, we'll, for we'll, the past we'll, two years, it's we'll have been to leave proven it, it doesn't okay. work. Okay, Saeed, thank you very much indeed. Ahmed Alwadeh, so Saeed Ahmed Alwadeh, thank you very much indeed for joining us live in London and telling us about your experiences and the situation there in Bahrain. Thank you.